In the past, biological researchers could study only one or two genes at a time. This changed completely in 2003 with the completion of the Human Genome Project. With the entire gene sequence and advanced genetic engineering technologies at one's disposal, biological research could now be conducted on a larger scale. For example, biological researchers could now study all the transcripts in an organ, tissue or tumor. It was also possible to study how thousands of genes and proteins work together inside our cells. HGP itself was made possible by two major methodologies of biological research, expressed sequence tags or ESTs, or DNA sequence tags and sequence annotation. In EST or DNA sequence tag method, the focus was on identifying and isolating all genes that expressed as RNA. Actually, EST is the term for all genes that express as RNA. With EST, numerous databases of nucleotide sequences have been made available. It has facilitated the construction of the preliminary transcript map of a human genome. In the second methodology, the entire set of genome that comprised all coding and non-coding sequences was indiscriminately sequenced and later different regions of the sequence were assigned with a function. The assigning of functions to sequences is called sequence annotation. For the purpose of sequencing, the complete DNA was extracted from a cell and divided into smaller fragments since it is technically difficult to sequence longer fragments of DNA. These DNA fragments were then cloned in suitable hosts such as bacteria or yeasts with the help of specialized plasmids or vectors. The vectors were called bacterial artificial chromosomes or BAC and yeast artificial chromosomes or YAC respectively. The cloning amplified each DNA sequence which made it easier to sequence. Sequencing was then done by automated sequencers that worked on a principle developed by Frederick Sanger who was also responsible for developing a method to sequence proteins and amino acids. As per Sanger's method, the cloned DNA sequences were arranged based on the overlapping regions present. For this, overlapping segments were generated. However, aligning this was not an easy task. As per Sanger's method, the cloned DNA sequences were arranged based on the overlapping regions present. For this, Overlapping segments were generated. However, aligning this was not an easy task. Therefore, specialized computer-based programs were developed that annotated these sequences and assigned to a chromosome. Out of the 22 autosomes and 2 allosomes X and Y, chromosome 1 was the last that has been sequenced in May 2006. Did you know that chromosome 1 has the most number of genes, that is 2968, whereas chromosome Y has the least number of genes, only 231. These challenging tasks would not have been possible if advanced genetic engineering methodologies had not been put forth by the HGP, consequently 
paving the way for useful biological research.